Hello everyone, welcome back. I actually found a garage sale comic book collection. Now, I can't take all the credit. I had some help and we're going to call him just Mr. H. What you're seeing is what Mr. H has sent me through Facebook Messenger. Basically, this guy was promoting his own garage sale with the books he was selling. If you guys have ever gone out hunting and digging, it's super hard, at least for me in my area, to find comic books in garage sales. It's even hard to find old video games, old toys, anything like that is usually picked over. Well, we found one and uh, there was some pretty decent stuff in here. I get the, get the message late Friday night and Saturday morning at the crack of dawn, I was up and I was driving. Some of these guys in some of these areas that make videos, I mean, it's like they just walk out their back door and find stuff. I, I don't have that in West Virginia. I got to go hunting. And this is what I come across. So when I come up to this guy's house, I'm there so early that there's literally nobody else there and the guy hadn't even set up. So to say that I was eager was an understatement, which is never what you want to be in the first place. But when I get there, there's an older gentleman there. He's got a, a big beard, big hair. And I'm like, uh, are, are you the gentleman that has the, the comic books? He says, no, that's my son. Well, the son was coming down. And he was having to set some stuff up. He hadn't even set up the books yet. I was there that early. Guy comes out. He says, uh, I know you. And I'm my heart kind of sinks because this could go one of two ways. You know, it, it could go the way of the man bun or it could go the way of all the people that have loved and supported me over these three years I've been doing this. Luckily enough, this guy was actually friends with me on Facebook. I don't even know how we were friends on Facebook. And he is a a viewer and he was actually in our uh, claim sale at Alex the Convict Quarters claim sale uh, just last week. So I was I was excited. I was like, oh man, this guy, you know, he he's he likes YouTube and obviously loves comic books. So I was I was excited. So uh, when I get there, you know, he had everything priced already. Um, and I was kind of talking to him about, you know, what exactly this was. And, and this is basically stuff that he was just trying to get rid of. Um, he apparently has a personal collection. Um, and I kind of asked him, you know, hey, could I, I, I take a look at that? Or, you know, would you let me uh, see, see your collection? And he kind of hummed and hawed a little bit. And it was pretty obvious that he was a viewer of Sticky Goose Comics and he kind of, he, he knew my shtick. And you know, I knew, I, I go to people's houses all the time. I go to people's shops and I, you know, I, I show their collections off and um, yeah, he was not, he was not feeling that. I even offered to pay him to look at his collection and he said, um, no, which I respect that, you know, that's cool. I, I, to me, if if somebody was coming to my house and wasn't showing up at the crack of dawn wanting to buy comic books, dude, I'd be letting them show. I'd be showing them what I got because there's a chance that they would be buying something else. So as I'm digging, I'm pulling out stuff. I'm seeing Dark Horse Star Wars. I'm seeing Silver Age stuff like this Nick Fury book. Um, several of his better Silver Age books, and as you can see by that sticky note on the back, they were missing a page missing an advertisement, um, centerfold was detached. You know, there were there was something wrong with these Silver Age books, and that was why he was selling them, obviously. Um, you know, we, we kind of talked YouTube, um, and I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, chatted with somebody while digging. It, it's kind of tricky because, you know, as you're looking, you know, your, your mind is thinking, is this, what is this? Is this a key? Or at least I have to do that. My, my brain just doesn't automatically register X, Y, and Z. So, you know, I was kind of chatting with him. It was nice to talk to him. Um, especially another guy who, you know, is kind of got his fingers on the pulse of, uh, the comic book community and specifically the YouTube comic book community. So that was kind of cool. Um, but it, it is kind of tricky to, to dig while doing that. These two boxes you see here to the right, uh, these were you know very, very much like dollar books. Um, some of them didn't even have uh, boards. There's a nice Alex Ross JLA cover. There was that Hickman Avengers run, and I kind of am kicking myself because I probably should have gotten that um, 
that uh, Hickman Avengers number one. And there may be some other keys in that that I'm not aware of. I just recently bought those two Omnibus, and I've heard that that's one of the best, if not the best Avengers story ever, um, and one of the best graphic novels or one of the best runs of all time. Classic 90s fodder here. We've got some Superman stuff, some Thor stuff, uh, X Factor. You know, this is the type of stuff you would, I would expect to see in a garage sale, just a random uh, garage sale. So, um, it it was it, I was I was feeling pretty good at this point. I had already pulled uh, several books out, and um, I was definitely already the gears were turning. You know, let let's make a deal. I when I go, one of my things is is when I go and I'm traveling somewhere, even if I'm going to a convention, it's just very hard for me to like not to to leave empty-handed to not pick up anything. Um, that's maybe a fault of mine. Um, I think the books that I did get are decent. Uh, I don't. I, I think I probably paid exactly what they are worth. I I don't think that I I got any steals. That's for sure. There's a nice little Young Avengers Dark Reign. Man, that Young Avengers run. Don't sleep on that. That was good. So the first first book I pull out here, and I ask him. The first thing I said is, "Can I film?" He said, "Yes." Uh, well, actually, he kind of hummed and hawed before I, before he said yes, um, but he did say yes. And then I asked, "Could I open this out of uh, open this uh, book out of the bag?" He said, "Absolutely." So, to all you haters out there, I do ask. When I'm paging through here, I'm just trying to keep a page count. I'm looking at page quality. I'm checking the centerfold, and you can see the back of this book. It, it's beat up. Um, nice little. Nice little key here. This is the first uh, solo series of Wonder Man. Uh, this is not Wonder Man's first appearance. That is in uh, either Avengers or Fantastic Four. I think it's in Avengers. Um, this is still a, a pretty good key, uh, especially considering that they are apparently making a Disney Plus Wonder Man show, which blows my freaking mind. This book, I was very surprised to see him at that price point. You could see the $15. He had $25 on the JLA 29 book, and then he had, uh, like I said, $15 on this book, and then I think he had the, had $10 on Wonder Man. Uh, this, uh, this first Lando, second Boba Fett was very nice. So we, we, we pulled some stuff. Um, we're back here. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of the things we pulled. This is a nice little book. This is uh, Secret Avengers. Um, this is uh, the first appearance of the new... Sorry, Secret Avengers number 19. This is kind of like the first appearance of the new Moon Knight costume. So this is the, the alter ego we see in uh, the Disney Plus show. And then it later becomes... You know, the, the cover of that Jeff Lemire um, run that we see in 2014. This is ASM 545. Uh, this is the conclusion of the One More Day run. This is when uh, Mephisto erases the, uh, the marriage of Peter and Mary Jane. I just love this cover. I, I really like Mephisto as a character. I think uh, that Silver Surfer run with the first appearance of Mephisto, that is the best part of that run. Um, I really would like to see Mephisto on the big screen and more stories with Mephisto, but he's he you know he's straight up the devil. We're probably not going to see that. This is the first appearance of Lily Hollister. Later becomes Menace and first appearance of Carly Cooper. Like I said, this is the Marvel premiere uh, featuring uh, Wonder Man number fifty five. This is a direct copy. It's got some spine ticks. Uh, you know this is not. A high grade copy. This is a very fine copy, you know, 6.0, very fine minus, maybe fine. <laughs> I guess I'm being positive about it. Yeah, it's the first solo Wonder Man. That's all it is, and that's why I picked it up. This next book, you know, this is this is a pretty good book. I mean, I don't really collect a lot of Star Wars, but my favorite characters are 
Darth Maul, and one of my favorite other characters is Lando, you know, the intergalactic space pimp. You know, he's drinking a Colt 45 while he's, you know, he's running Vespin. And, you know, it's, it's a high, it was a higher grade book. I was shocked to see, you know, what he had it priced at. I mean, it's not, it's not higher than an eight. I mean, it's got all four blunted corners. The back of this book, I can clean that. And expect, and that also that Mephisto with the color rub up and down the spine. I have a pretty good, my way of cleaning the book, I can get that off pretty easily without doing too much damage and not, you know, going too crazy with the cleaning stuff. It's also the second appearance of Boba Fett, which is pretty decent. But this this was the this was the cream of the crop. I mean, if you guys don't know, this is Ju- Justice League of America number twenty nine. This is the first appearance of the Crime Syndicate: Ultraman, Owlman, Power Power Ring, Superwoman, Johnny Quick the Second. It's also the first Silver Age Starman. Another key in the Crisis on Infinite Earth stuff. Um, this is a awesome cover. You've got the JSA. Uh, looking down um, on the uh, the JLA, that crime syndicate. This is this is a classic book, a classic cover. I'm super glad to have this in the collection. All right, let's get down to it. What did I pay for this lot of comics? He had these comics priced at fifty six or fifty nine dollars. I offered forty. Forty dollars cash was accepted. Forty bucks for these books. I mean, to be honest, that JLA twenty nine is maybe. A $40 book um, after that book could be cleaned and pressed. So, 40 bucks, eh. I, I, I mean, I think they're worth that. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.